The anticipation started early this morning in St. Joseph, Missouri, as thousands converged on the town for the first coast to coast eclipse in nearly 100 years. So excited. We're kind of geeked out about it. On the West Coast, the farming town of Madras, Oregon, will be the first in the nation to watch the moon completely block out the sun. I've come, you know, thousands of miles to be here. This area came up as the best place in terms of the weather. The eclipse will make its way from Oregon to South Carolina before heading out to sea. Even Americans who are not in the path of totality will still get to see a partial eclipse. Carbondale, Illinois will be in the dark the longest for two minutes and 40 seconds. The big question here in St. Joseph and other spots along the path of totality is the weather. Some areas could be cloudy or stormy. Lou Pagano and more than 40 other amateur astronomers traveled here from Sydney, Australia. This is my fifth eclipse. Each one is different. Astronomers say the solar spectacle is not just a cool phenomenon, it's also a chance for scientists to learn more about the sun. The corona is incredibly hot, millions of degrees, and astronomers don't understand completely why the corona is so hot. Experts caution if you do plan to watch this celestial event that you make sure to have special eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. And again, this will be a once in a lifetime opportunity for many people. The next eclipse that will be visible from the United States won't be for another seven years, but it won't be from coast to coast. Dick, back to you.